Rosetta was the first spacecraft to orbit a comet. It was also the first to fly alongside one as it headed towards the inner solar system. But it was its deployment of the Philae lander shortly after its arrival in 2014 that will be remembered as the highlight of the mission. It produced the first images of a comet's surface taken from its surface. The uh, deployment of Philae lander, which was, I think, very successful. Uh, it couldn't grab the surface of the comet itself, so it had to bounce back, but still it was very successful. Philae did come to rest on the comet, but the team lost sight of it and its signal a short time after. Earlier this month it was spotted again by Rosetta, wedged on its side in a dark crevice, explaining why it had lost power and communication. For the last two years, Rosetta's been orbiting Comet 67P, collecting detailed data, images and information about what it's made from and how it warms up as it nears the sun. But now, as it heads deeper into space and its power dwindles, its final manoeuvre will bring it down onto the surface of the comet in what's being described as a controlled crash. During its descent, the craft will take high-resolution images and use its 11 instruments to measure conditions near the comet's surface. The team will then try to drop it into a 30 metre deep, dust-filled pit, one of a number seen to spew out jets of gas. You can see the walls of the pit and it gives you a glimpse of what's kind of the internal makeup of the comet. And being able to see those features will give us a better feel for exactly what, what the internal structure of the comet is. The missions already made important discoveries, including the presence of organic compounds and water with a chemical signature quite unlike that on Earth. Having hit the surface of the comet, the team doesn't expect to get any further data from the spacecraft. The mission will then be over, but not the work of understanding the data that's been collected. That's the thing now, is to focus on decades worth of science that we're going to get out of Rosetta, because we've got all of this data to continue studying and make sure it's archived properly so the whole science community can look at it in the future. Within that vast volume of data, scientists expect to make further discoveries that will help shed light on the formation and evolution of our solar system. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.